The term disgorgement means the repayment of illegal gains by wrongdoers. The funds received through unethical business transactions are to be paid back along with interest to those affected by the action. It is a remedial civil action and not a punitive one. In India, this was recognized by the legislature in 2013 through the insertion of an explanation to Section 11B of the SEBI Act. In the first stage, SEBI satisfies itself of the irregularity or unethical transaction through investigation. This can be initiated suo moto or upon a complaint. Once the wrongdoings are proven, the company or the individual is not entitled to any defence. Also, there is no specified period during which the proceedings are to be initiated by the regulator. There is no universal method that is used to arrive at a penalty figure. This is mainly because there cannot be an exact determination of the actual gains made by the wrongdoer. However, it cannot exceed the total profits realised as a result of the unlawful activity. The onus to arrive at a reasonable figure lies with SEBI. If the disgorgement penalty is not paid, the regulator may levy an additional penalty or attach and sell its properties to realise the amount. The money is credited to the Investor Protection and Education Fund IPEF. In the alleged co-location scam, SAT has also set aside the SEBI's order to disgorge 25% of the salary from NSC executives Ravi Narayan and Chitra Ramakrishna. The tribunal said that salary is given to a person as a remuneration for the work that he does in an organization and is not a profit nor can it be termed as an unfair gain. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.